Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name Muhammad Dungudawan. I'm the co-author of paper ID 105. With the other author is Sofyan Sajay Putra and Ahmad Farasobri. Our paper is Information Security Risk Management Analysis using ISO 27005-2011 for the telecommunication company. This is our outline. We have background and problem identification. Is it problem and objective? Scope of problem, research methodology, result of data analysis and discussion, and uh, conclusion and suggestion. So, uh, the risk management has an important role in information security, uh, especially in large customer-oriented companies. So, generally, risk management implementation is still not optimal, so that information security is vulnerable to attack or interference. In research, uh, our reference the implementation of risk management was only up to the identification and assessment stage. Therefore, this research will answer the need to carry out a factual risk management analysis. So this is our scope. This study used an information security risk management planning approach with an ISO slash IAC 2007-005-2000 11. Second is the ISO 20, uh, 27005 content step or process to support clause 6 of ISO 27001-2013. So, uh, our background and problem identification. So, we know the uh, information technology and the infrastructure has a risk. So, we know that uh, the, the IT, uh, the infrastructure, should uh, uh, well known as uh, to establish to support the services to the customer. So we need the risk management, and also we concern about information security. So in the standard uh, of uh, international standard. We have uh, ISO 2007 and 005. So uh, with with the ISO 2007 and 005, we know that the interruption of communication services and internet access network and regulatory obligation, we can uh, know the how risk of that uh, entire uh, uh, infrastructure and also the services. So, but uh, we know that there is no uh, certainty about the guarantee of service information security so that it affects the commitment or loyalty of customer for the service provides. So, the implementation of information security risk management has not been optimal, which refers to government standard and regulation. So, this is our uh, research problem and objective. For general, to know the implementation of information security risk management ISO 2007 and 005 in the telecommunication company, and for the purpose of a special, we have to identify, analysis, evaluate risk, and then knowing the prioritized risk and determining compatible risk control objective based on ISO 2007 and 001. So this is our research methodology. So our method of collecting data, so because this is a qualitative uh, research, this step uh, we, we use the purposive sampling techniques. And then we use uh, observation, and then we use interview, uh, and then we uh, along with documentation study, triangulation. So, uh, and with data analysis method, we use the process of data analysis method uh, use counter assist uh, using NP410 and then such as the we use the menu of import data, export data, uh, make patterns and code data and then analyze and reflect on the data visualizing data. So this is our uh, result of data analysis and discussion. Clause 7 context establishment. So general consideration, 
Information Security Risk Management in Telecommunication Company services must be carried out periodically to support telecommunication company. For organization, the Information Technology Unit is responsible for the risk to the IS and IT asset that support the company business process and the corporate customer area. And host, uh, and host and area network units are responsible for the risk to service access network distribution service equipment. And then for the scope and boundaries, business process procedure for implementing maintenance, corrective recovery of mass disruption and quality enhancement, as well as maintenance of distribution equipment for suspicious access network. And for the basic criteria, the basic criteria for the assessment of business impact, which consists of very low with a value of 0 to very high with a value of 4. The basic criteria parameter for assessing the likelihood of occurrence consists of the very unlikely with a value of 0 to frequent with a value of 4. So this is our uh, result of data analysis and of clause 9 which is a risk treatment as we see in the in this uh, table we have proprietary risk that we have uh, primary we have uh, second and we have third uh, priority of risk and then uh, for the objective control recommendation we have like for example cryptographic controls network security management information transfer security requirement and then security in development and support process so in the third column we have type of risk treatment like risk sharing risk avoidance risk modification risk retention and uh, for example in this uh, primary risk uh, work to be done for the stakeholder like for example Acquiring application and database will trust stakeholder, replace application and new database that are more secure, and make mitigation step in case of emergency, and supervise review policies and SOP for application development related to information security. So, for example, in this uh, primary uh, risk, we have a type of risk treatment. This is uh, for risk treatment. And then for the second uh, risk priority, we have uh, three risk treatment. Uh, I'm sorry, this is two risk treatment, risk avoidance and risk modification. And for the third uh, priority risk, we have risk retention. So it's a risk of treatment has a, a work to be done in the field. So the uh, uh, for the uh, top priority is there is uh, application and database, and then second priority is like MA, OLT, ODC, and FO drop. Like uh, in we because we are in the uh, telecommunication company who deliver the service through the customers, and then the third priority is like OTP, ONT, FO drop, and patch cord cable. So for the uh, future work, like uh, in the left side, we have uh, doing the residual risk test until risk acceptance. So uh, we have uh, in the next future, we have to uh, doing a residual risk test until risk acceptance. And then in the right, right side, we have to considering and collecting objective value and other controls that had not have not been selected at ISO 207001. And then in the middle we have we can uh, see the effective effectiveness of information secretary's mitigation program decision. If the the this two uh, factor has been implemented. So the, for the conclusion uh, the ISO 2007-05-2011 process can be applied to the telecommunication companies. 
and then for the special caution, the result of risk identification, analysis, and evaluation reveal application asset, databases, MA, cable, and then etc. and at the highest risk. So for the theoretical implication, information security risk management is closed related to information security management system. And for a practice engineer application, the application of ISO 27005 is expected to help the managerial parties in making decisions. Thank you.